welcome everybody to my channel and today's topic will be about this skull that we created uh, a vellum grain from it and we make it uh, fall down according to grouping of the bones when it's uh, being activated it will fall down so this is the outcome here you see the grouping when it's activated it become yellow and here we have some bone clustering that being uh, glued together so we have different effect start from the top and the skull is uh, taking the texture of the original skull texture map I'll show you how we do that also this is another view Good. before that uh, the, the hip file already is being available and uh, posted on my patreon where you can join us over there and be part of our community and your support will be very much appreciated and here we have uh, three level of membership uh, first and second and third so uh, you are most welcome to be with us over there a lot of hip file and scene and example file that you can download and play with and experiment so thank you for joining us over there next no before next you can get uh, the skull geometry from sketchfab you have uh, you can search for skull and make sure it's downloadable you have plenty of amazing models that you can choose from i think i went with this one so let's see the, who's the creator so we can credit him so martin giaro thank you very much for the model this is the model that we downloaded and here we imported it let's go inside we have one texture that I use also so in the geometry I have the skull let's remove this one and remove so we can keep this one I will remove the wires so this is our skull here I'm uh, uh, promoting from vertex to point the UV, the normal and the tangent because I want every uh, all the attributes to be on points then I transform it a little bit up so it will fall down and then I created the volume constraint grain so this is the grain that we will get I make sure create points from volume I kept it at point 2 let's make it just one see the lower you go the more points you will get and they have three outcome the surface collision or the yeah the collision the constraint and the geometry the bones itself here I'm transferring the attribute from the original uh, model to the points I'm transferring mainly shop material bath UV mainly the UV I need and the normal and here I'm branching and uh, adding attribute that the mass is equal zero for the points or they are stopped or inactive so they are not being uh, simulated in the uh, vellum solver but while the, 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 the points will be entering this group when they are inside it they will receive the value of being uh, active or the, the mass is not zero so they will uh, be calculated and they will fall down after the 
mass of zero, I added cluster points. Cluster points, I used a total of 20 bones. And this is how they look. You can play with the seeds for a better shape. I think this one is nice. After that, attribute from map. This is where I get the texture uh, back, the color of the texture. So, in the attribute from map, I use that texture that we had here, where we had it in the object, in the material, this material, in the surface, there is the texture. I use the same JPEG that used to texture the skull. I used it here according to the UV that we transferred and we are exporting the attribute CD on points so we get the same color the higher resolution we have the more detail we will get so let's say here we are at 1 see let's say we are at point 0.1 we'll take more time now I think I need to increase my memory. My memory is very small now. Yeah. And the CPU also. More cores mean it will be run faster. Let me pause till it finish. So that's why uh, your support is very much welcome on my battery. So maybe uh, we will be able to upgrade the computer. So higher resolution, we get more details from the texture. I will bring it back after that we bring it back to the vellum glue and why we have the vellum glue because I want to have constraint glue constraint between the points according to the cluster so they are joined together also in the Vellum constraint grain, I make the attraction weight one so they will not just fall apart separately, they will be clumped together. So that will keep the points uh, beside each other, and the glue will make sure the cluster at least will be like one piece. And you can add breaking threshold so the cluster itself will be break broken, but I didn't use it. And this is the vellum. In the pop angle, in the second input, I'm referring to the group. This one. So, whatever bones being detected inside the group will be involved in the simulation. Okay. So this is the group. The code. If input point group, this is the expression. That means if there is a point. In that group, which group? Group from the first input. Which group we are talking about? Group 1. This is what is being called. Where to look at? For each point number. If it is inside that group, so the value is 1, outside the group is 0, inside is 1, then I want you to do something. What you want me to do? I want you to set up the mass to be 1. Initially, they will inherit a mass of 0. But now you are inside the group, please be a mass of one. What that means? It will be activated and being run by the Willem solver. Here, for, uh, for grain, you need at least between four to ten sub steps. I keep the, the constraint iteration 100 because I have a glue constraint also. But you can go lower than that. We still have a gravity. When it's damping, you can add it so the particle will not just go crazy. And I increase the ground friction so they will not just slide. So everything is zero. Let me template this. See where it moves become active then I cache it I 
is the cache sim. If we remove the texture, no texture because we inherited as a CD bones. Then I'm coloring it according to the cluster and according to the mass. And this is the output. This is what we get. We can add extra forces and wind and vorticity for the particle when they fall down to have a more interesting shape and effect and result. So, at the end, the file is already on my Patreon. So this is the page. And our goal is to reach 100 Patreon with your support. And here is the file already uploaded there. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.